Hi, my name is Philip Verhoof, and I am an ICU doctor. That means I care for critically ill children and adults who require ventilators, including those with coronavirus. Right now, hospitals, doctors, healthcare workers, we need PPE, personal protective equipment. We don't have it. But if we'd had a single payer Medicare for all system where the government controlled the allocation of resources, it would be pretty easy for the government to basically say, hey, we need to provide a bunch of PPE to New York City, to Seattle, to Louisiana, places that are getting decimated by the virus. But that's not the system that we have. Right now, we're entering into a recession. The unemployment rate is spiking, and that means that the uninsurance rate is also spiking. Because of course, in the United States, we tie health insurance to employment. What do you think all these people are going to do when you know, they get sick, whether it's with coronavirus or a heart attack or a car accident, they're not gonna be able to pay for their health care. They're gonna go bankrupt, lives will be lost. This will strain our health care system even more. This pandemic has revealed so many flaws in our health care system, and none of those flaws get dealt with by the current proposals for incremental health care reform on the table now. We need real reform, we need Medicare for all.